Okay, welcome back to another episode of the Day After Podcast. What's up, guys? Today we have somewhat, we have another user submitted one, but it's something that we've done before in two separate senses, but we've never done it together. Mm -hmm. We have survival rivals, heroes versus villains. So basically what we do is we take the concept of, oh, um, two rivals and which one was like the hero in it, which one was the villain. I know it can be subjective. And I think the Mm -hmm. funny thing about what we did, there's two individuals when there was heroes versus villains that they were originally on the hero tribe and originally on the villain tribe. And as you can see, Courtney is on the hero tribe. So things kind of got a little flopped around, Um, which just goes to show that, you know, perception is everything. Um, Exactly. Especially Especially if uh, you're going up against someone who is by far a bigger villain (laughs) and someone's just making some snarky comments. I mean, it just, uh, you know, which one's the real villain there? I don't know. (laughs) Exactly. And this was submitted. uh, This was submitted to us by. Uh, I can't believe I'm saying this, but by a gay Latino bear. Well, we appreciate you, gay Latino bear. (laughs) Gay Latino bear. (laughs) for this one because this is a fun one um Mm -hmm. this is like the one time in a long time i've actually beaten um joe to make the cast list um i was that rarely happens (laughs) um but i was very excited with this concept so um and i was going to the movies and usually i make my cast list while i'm waiting for the movie to start um Mm -hmm. (laughs) fun fact about me uh so yeah um so shall we get right into it yeah, I'll do one quick reminder, you know, to this is the fan season, so make sure to vote. You can still vote on previous seasons, too, if you haven't yet, so make sure you go ahead, vote for them, vote for the community. Um, The, the polls will probably close uh, about three days after this video goes live, so make sure that you get in your votes as quick as possible. Oh, yeah, it's coming up, and then right after that, we're going straight into uh, 44 coverage, you know, our brand steel prediction, Mm -hmm. um, our draft, this one is going to be interesting, I mean, this is, we're filming this before any of the preseason stuff has come out, Um, but like, you know, this one is going to be fun, Uh, I'm excited for 44, and yeah, so, in the meantime... Yeah, yeah, let's uh we'll do how we usually do these blood versus waters. Uh we'll take the pairs as pairs and talk about both of them as one go. Yeah. Um and first up we have from Survivor 41, Deshaun Radden and Chantel Smith. Now, um we all know that Chantel was pretty much the um big villain of um 41 in the sense of like she was kind of like the joel schumacher kind of like you know cartoony kind of villain you know very Mm -hmm. bright very colorful but shan was like out to play and out for blood and you know her and um her and deshaun you know they wanted to have a big alliance um you know all black people together and stuff and do it together and the thing is Shan and Deshaun just could not see eye to eye and that alliance crumbled with him because Shan just Mm. would not even consider anything that uh, Deshaun had to say. And so, you know, in in that regard, Shan is very much kind of like a villain of the season and Deshaun since when she, you know, he went against Shan and stuff like that and they butted heads, makes him the hero. Um, He also got further. And so like, I guess that's semi-heroic. So, yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, also, I I really did feel it was very unjust how uh, Shan basically turned the entire jury against Deshaun in the final uh, jury. Like, just straight up, you could tell it. Like, it wasn't like like he in gameplay technically did the right thing by doing by getting rid of her because he gets to the end by by doing that. Um, yeah. But Shan was just so better bitter against it that she really did just get everyone to not want to really vote for uh, him except for his best friend Danny who was obviously going to vote for him. Of course. Of course. Um, but yeah, I like this pair. Um, Shan has been a feature on our channel a wee bit more but we have to Sean mm-hmm. back and you know we'll see how these two do. Yep. All right, next up, did I get, oh, I think, yeah, all my, all the ones on top are mine. Was yeah, I, I think I did that in a, a, a yeah, your, your top row, I'm bottom row. All right, 
our next pair, we do have someone who has won on our channel before. We have Ty Trang and Kyle Jason, both of which were featured in Survivor 32, Co Wrong. Um, you know, they were in alliance for a while. You know, it mm -hmm. was, um, you know, Ty with the two, um, you know, what the Braun drive. Um, and the thing is, it's like, you know, Ty, he was kind of getting a little, I wouldn't say bullied, but kind of like pressured into doing a lot of stuff. And, um, you know, Jason was kind of like, um, he, you know, like kind of like pressuring him to do a lot of stuff, um, especially when it came to the super idol. And for, I'm forgetting the really tall guy's name, the basketball player. Uh, Scott Pollard. Yeah. And when it came to Scott, you know, there was an opportunity to use the super idol for him. And Ty wasn't going to have it. So he stood up for himself. Um, yeah. Also, Ty is very likable. And, you know, he's very loving and caring. Mm -hmm. Really great traits of a hero. Um, yeah. And he's just, you know, uh, he saved, a, you know, he saved chickens. Like, no other place would, um, that. no other season does that fly. Um, no pun intended. Yeah. Um, Ty is a hero through and through. In, um, yeah, Jason, look what happened to Wendy on Edge of Extinction. She uh, lets yeah. some chickens out and, you know, all hell breaks loose on that tribe. <laughs> yeah, the thing is, Ty was able to coordinate it where everyone just agreed to it. Yeah. Where uh, Jason, you know, like, um, he's definitely a villain because, like, you know, he is a bit of a tough guy and stuff. I mean, he does have his sensitive side. He does whatever yeah. he can for his daughters and stuff like that. One yeah. of my favorite moments with him is when he's seeing um, when he has he wins the run reward and, you know, he's like thinking of like, oh, he gets to meet all his animals and he's talking about his daughter. And he's like and he can't wait. He can't wait for his like daughter to see, you know, his dad around all these animals. Mm -hmm. um, but he was definitely a villain on there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He he's I think, um, part of uh, like, like he's probably one of the last like villains of Survivor. Like, like you really start eventually getting to the point where they don't want to really make someone look completely villainous. And I think I think this is kind of like after the the Jason and Scott kind of fiasco and how people kind of perceived and kind of took that i think a lot of people i think survivor was like you know what let's let's not like make someone look like they're completely you know like that they're, they're doing a bunch of these uh you know I, I don't know i guess they just don't look as villainous anymore after after jason i mean and i mean like people still do villainous moves and whatnot but yeah I mean, but it's always like a strategic uh yeah this move that and i think that's the important thing is that they're doing it to get further in the game whereas we saw a lot of what jason did as villainous moves that weren't necessary to get further in the game it was like that was him that like it was him just doing things that yeah. were him like um, just calling someone blondie and stuff and disregarding her um yeah. her and pretty much yeah yeah exactly yeah you, you don't get that as much now now the villainous moves is like well i befriended this person who i think is kind of like my mom i guess i'm going to vote them out like jesse is the perfect example of a modern yeah. day um villain yeah yeah jesse carla even um like they 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 have those villainous moments, but it's always to progress in the game instead of, um, you know, something that's yeah. less out of the game. <laughs> Precisely. Uh, is this his first time on the channel? Who? Kyle Jason. Uh, no, he's been on it before. All right. I, I remember. Right. I think he was here. I think he was on Heroes Villains, the one that we did. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah so i guess we we just agree this guy's a villain um yeah <laughs> all right next up our pair number three is bobby john drinkard and stephanie lagrosa um as you guys know i love stephanie um and this hero villain um dynamic came about in guatemala now we all know i don't like guatemala that much <laughs> uh mostly because of how it ended but you know uh, you know watching that season it, it is other than like her being like an underdog in palau i don't really see how she ends up on the hero tribe in survivor hero versus villains and especially yeah. after that season you know she was very cutthroat and bobby john you know those two made it last on their uh tribe and everything mm -hmm. 
And like, you know, they did the fire. So they are rivals in the sense. They came back the very next season. And Stephanie showed Bobby John a little mercy by making sure he at least ended up on the jury. But it, as soon as, um, you know, the jury phase started, she was like, nope, he has to go. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, she played a very villainous game in Guatemala. Yeah, I would say the heroes versus villains, the hero side specifically, like uh, there, there's a few ones where I'm like, really, you put them as the heroes? And uh, even though Jeff gave, gave a lot of flack, I think for the villains being like, maybe I could be a hero, but um, uh, like Sugar, for instance, should not have been on the hero tribe. Um, no, I agree with you. Better. I don't think, Ste- I think Stephanie was a big villain. Even Amanda has this big villainous move of taking out Ozzy um, in my career. Yeah. And the, like, you know, as part of the black woman brigade, like she's still a part of that, like villainous group. Well, um, I mean, also Sari, but I feel like, you know, yeah. there is always a thing of like perception and look like with sugar. She has a very Americana thing. And I think they also just wanted, you know, more, uh, more sugar and Randy uh, <laughs> kind of dynamics and whatnot. So mm-hmm. like, you know, it's like, oh yeah, these two hate each other. Let's put them another season. Yeah, um, but it would have been better, I guess, if they were on the same tribe. I mean, they, did, yeah. they, they never even got to see each other. <laughs> nope. They were both the first boot on their respective, but um, (laughs) yeah, both the first boot on their respective tribe. Uh, (laughs) I bet you're happy, Mister Anti Gabon. I I was honestly. That's the reason why I'm happy about that season. Is I think I think a lot. (laughs) I had that. There's only a couple people who I think go home pre-merge that should have stuck around longer. I think I think uh, um a lot of that pre-merge. I'm fine with how how it went down. All right. Well, we'll see if uh, either one of these. I know Stephanie has been on our channel quite a bit. I am yeah. like one of her cheerleaders, but <laughs> she has never delivered. She she has been pretty bad, if I recall. Um, yes. <laughs> well, like not not just like making it to the merge and then kind of fizzling out somewhere around there. Like she gives out pretty early, very quickly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, but you know, I was like, all right, here's a chance to, you know, give her another shot. Um, because yeah. Lord knows I have given her so many, but because this is like, a since we're doing a, you know, a season of the fans, yeah. subscribers and whatnot, and they gave us so many opportunities to use like survivor contestants. It, it, I was like, yeah, um, <laughs> um, she fits the criteria. So let's bring her back. Nice. Yeah, we'll see uh how the uh the Guatemala slash Palau peeps here do. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Now, next up we have from Survivor 28 Kagayan BBB Bronze Brains Beauty and also Second Chance. Um, we have Spencer Raymond Bledsoe and Chaos Cast McQuillan. Um, yeah, these two. <laughs> From the very first season, uh, you know, there was, you know, there was always this thing between the two. And Chaos Cast was definitely like, you know, if you go in saying Chaos Cast, not really aligned to anyone, just does whatever she wants, you know, very much a villain. And Spencer mm-hmm. had very much the underdog thing going through him the entire season. Um funny enough, it eventually it was Spencer that led to Cass's elimination in the next season that they're in together but you know uh we love spencer on this channel um and we love cast so Mm -hmm. another opportunity especially since neither of them been on our channel in quite some time to give them another some more screen time yeah exactly yeah uh you know uh spencer is also one of my favorites uh way back when we did our uh top 10 favorite survivor players i i remember yeah. he was on both of our lists one of the few um, yeah. so yeah i'm i'm excited you know they uh got it they, they never really saw eye to eye spencer saying Cass had a zero percent chance to win the game um yeah and their rivalry was so much that in second chance um uh th- that was like a huge like talking point between the two of them was like can they coexist with each other <laughs> oh yeah um and then she kind of just threw it back in his face uh mm-hmm. when it was you know when spencer made it to final travel council and um second chance and it just you know yeah um got those jury votes um 
Yep. So yeah, and I believe Spence he's sparsely used on our channel, but he's done good uh one or two times. Is he yeah, a winner? He's, uh, he's not a winner. He's not a winner just yet. And yeah. Cass, I, we've definitely used Cass a bit more, mostly because sometimes I get nervous bringing some of my favorite uh, contestants on here, especially since some of them don't always do too hot. But I was mm -hmm. like, Spencer, come on. <laughs> uh, now that now that Tyson is a winner and stuff like that, I'm like, okay, maybe my curse has semi-lifted. Yeah, um, yeah, maybe some of your favorites can finally start doing good. <laughs> Brimjow, fourth try. <laughs> uh, but yeah. yeah. All right. And last, but certainly not least, we got Amanda Kimmel and Danielle DiLorenzo. Now, they are also from Heroes vs. Villains, but they are in their respective... Um, they're in their respective tribes. Mm -hmm. uh, and the reason why I put these two together, because when I watched Hero vs. Villains the very first time, I didn't know that much about Survivor. I was still new to Survivor, and I didn't really know these two. However, one of, my, one of the memories that I had that really stuck out to me were these two wrestling for the clue to the hidden immunity idol. And Colby just like... <laughs> You just, just like you know just the treasure planet <laughs> yeah um it was one of the most iconic moments in that and uh you know danielle got it amanda was eliminated that episode um so yeah um also bringing amanda back into the mix um so yeah Nice. Yeah, excited to see uh, them perform. Amanda, as uh, you know, is, is a winner on the channel. Yep. So she uh, is trying to buy for a two-time winner spot. Um, and uh, Danielle, uh, she's been on our channel, I believe. I just don't remember any of her performances. Probably not, no. Yeah. Uh, Danielle is not... Yeah, she's not one of our favorites. No, nah, no. Nah, she, she, she was... Uh, Okay, like, 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 it's not like, dang, uh, you know, Danielle's on this cast, but it's kind of like, you, you know, it's it's how I feel about Andrea Belke, like she's she's fine, but it's 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 not like a negative or a positive for me. <laughs> apathetic, apathetic kind of like opinion. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, but who knows? She may surprise both of us. Uh, yeah, yeah. We'll uh, we'll see here. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's now go on to my uh, uh, rivals that I have brought here, starting with Courtney Yates and Jean Robert Belhande. Um, and yeah, Courtney, as uh, we had pointed out previously, was on the Villains Tribe. Um, but honestly, if you look back on China, like most of that is just her, you know, being annoyed by how disgusting and all these terrible things John Robert is doing, how lazy he's doing. <laughs> and it's not really like, um, like, like, like you, you feel you, you, you believe Courtney more than you'd ever believe John Robert when he tries to give his reasonings for um all these kind of things um so and you know that that's most of the season is is in that kind of uh frame so it's like all these snarky things courtney's saying it, it doesn't feel like necessarily a villainous thing it's like you're saying the right things <laughs> yeah yeah um yeah i love courtney i think she's great um mm -hmm. though that being said, she has not really done great on our channel, except for one time when we did a Big Brother simulation. Yeah, she has already appeared this season uh, or this series, um, but she did not do great. So she is back um, for another outing. And uh, John Robert, I mean, like when I do think of uh, kind of like rivals or something like that, this these are two that you know definitely do come to mind. Um, mm -hmm. So much so, I thought we actually used them before in Rivals or something. Yeah, but... yeah, I, I had uh, double check too because uh, it seemed like uh, it should have been one of the ones we brought way back then. But um, that was also our fourth time, so we were, uh, it, we 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 were still learning how to make a cast list. I think exactly, <laughs> exactly. So well, here they are, and let's see if Courtney she has Redemption Island this time. So maybe. Yeah. Just maybe that could uh, help her if she gets uh, booted out a little early. Yeah, yeah. Maybe she gets booted out early and Jean Robert will swap with her. <laughs> I, 
I'd say I highly doubt it, but you know, sometimes Brant Seal does the logical things. Uh, mm -hmm. So we'll see. We'll see. Yes. Yes. Um, so yeah, that's uh Courtney. We'll see if she can manage to get to the merge this time. She's <laughs> she cannot get to a merge of Survivor. <laughs> and uh, this is actually a very tough one to get to because the merge is at eleven. So. Yeah, yeah, or it's it's, it's, a, it's a, or eleven. Yeah, you you definitely have to play the game to get to the merge in this one. Yeah, yeah. So we'll see. Mm -hmm. We'll definitely see. Okay, next up, we got Courtney and Shane. Um, and uh, their big kind of uh, reason I put them on here was uh, that one fight that happens <laughs> uh, where Shane basically threatens to go to Courtney's house and kill her. And um, Courtney is not concerned about that. She's concerned because Shane bashes her apartment instead. <laughs> Um, like yeah. it's such it's such a weird interaction and moment <laughs> that just is like the, this Kasaya tribe is just crazy like like every single one of them except for Sari and Anaris are are crazy <laughs> yeah yeah I mean uh Shane Shane is definitely I'd say I guess there was some strategy to what he was doing but at the same time, he was just such a eccentric kind of guy out there, and he yeah. was fun. Um, he, and I like he cold, cold quit cigarettes uh, to go when he went out there. Like he didn't go off. He just went out there and was like, "Okay, I'll be fine." <laughs> no, no. I mean, like that's one way to uh, cut cold cold turkey is uh go on a reality show where you have limited resources yeah. uh i'd say in big brother you see it a lot um i've been watching some of the earlier seasons yeah. and when a contestant that smokes finally run out of cigarette um cigarettes it is like a big moment for them <laughs> on the thing yeah yeah, um, I've seen, uh, you know, people are willing to do like crazy things just to get some more cigarettes from from either the producers or from um, from other contestants. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Um, and Courtney, you know, I like Courtney. Um, yeah, she is a cute blonde girl. I know. Uh, but it's you this time that brought all the. <laughs> I know I brought both Courtney's. Also. You brought both blonde Courtney's and Sierra, which we'll get to in a bit. Yeah, but. You're the one that brought all the blondes this time. Exactly. Uh, hey, I saw your list and I was like, we're missing the blondes, you know? Right? Exactly. You got me on that end. I got to I gotta bring in the blondes now. <laughs> exactly. But, you know, Courtney, I thought she was really cool that season. Um, also, the fire dancing is really cool. Um, just in general, I think it's like a fun, you know, way, a fun kind of, I don't want to say profession, but art form because it's like, it's just like so cool in my opinion so yeah she's been on our channel i remember it was sometime in our series two or no it was like our phase two or how do we label these again i yeah, know we ser series one series two series three and now we're on series four gotcha yeah um but yeah so for this one it is something where uh I remember her being brought in. I think I did once. Um, I think it was like when we were captains of our own tribe. Mm -hmm. And we brought people we never brought before. So, um, yeah, so Courtney is back. I don't remember when we brought Shane, but I think we Same. did. I, I remember us bringing him, but I can't remember. Hunger uh, Games, maybe? Maybe. Hunger not. Games, maybe second chances? Maybe, maybe. Yeah. Um. Well, here he is now, and uh, we'll see how things go for him. Yep, exactly. So, yeah, that's uh, that's them. Um, okay, next up, we got someone who uh, also was on this uh, season uh, here uh, who uh, does have some votes, actually, uh, for All Stars 15. So, um, uh, already, uh, <laughs> all he needs probably is, like, one person to give him, like, a third-place vote, and he's probably going to be in All Stars 15. <laughs> um, oh, we got Sierra Reed and Tyson Apostle. Um, and uh, Tyson, on his original season of Token Teams, uh, 
definitely seemed to pick on some of the uh, smaller girls. Um, yeah. Started with Aaron when she was sick. Um, but then eventually once Aaron got kind of better, uh, Tyson turned his focus over to Sierra, who was the next weakest person pretty much. And um, that was where most of the rivalry ends up happening for most of the season is him kind of, you know, talking down to Sierra and kind of making fun of her not being able to do as much around camp around, you know, and challenges and all this kind of stuff. Um, but ultimately, Sierra gets the last word there on that season, and yeah. it, uh, it kind of helps take out Tyson in a pretty big move. Yeah. Um, yeah, I did like – I'm surprised Sierra never really came back. I'm surprised mm-hmm. she – well, then again, there was already um, two people from Token Chains, but, like, I could have seen Sierra been on the Hero Tribe a little bit because she did have some yeah. fight to her. She did have mono, I believe, her first season. Or she had something. Strep. Mm-hmm. It was some kind of like she yeah. was sick in the beginning yeah. from something. Yeah, yeah. Uh I, I I thought it was Aaron who was sick at first. I could have sworn it was her. I I I honestly, this is what I was thinking too, but um uh I remember uh Aaron was like she gets voted out because that she was sick. Wait, Aaron made the final three. No, no, no. She doesn't get voted out. But at the at in day one, they had to vote people. Uh, just kind of like how they did in Blood versus Water, but they're not actually out of the game. They just go back to camp. And I'm pretty sure it was Aaron. Who I thought it was Sierra. Out. Was that Sierra? I'm pretty sure it was Sierra. I thought that was Aaron. I'm pretty sure it was C. We're gonna look this up after. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna have to look this up now because I, I swear I thought that Sierra. St- uh, I mean, Aaron started off as not on Tyson and Coach's kind of like side because they thought she wasn't like feeling good, and then they and and then once she got better, she was more per- like she was able to help out more. But I could have sworn it was like Sierra that got like not voted off first but like you know yeah. basically sent to the tribe earlier than the others and whatnot yeah we'll, we'll we'll look this up afterwards now but um yeah i i, I yeah I, th- I thought i thought it was uh i thought sierra ends up kind of getting the, the the hate a little bit later no i i think it was constant throughout um yeah. but yeah either way i really enjoyed her on that season and uh i know i've thought about bringing her quite a a lot actually but she just never seemed to have made the cut for me personally Mm -hmm. um so here she is um because i don't think i know i've never brought her before but i've thought of bringing her yeah yeah i mean maybe that's a similar how uh they felt uh, when casting heroes versus villains you know she was maybe on the list but then it was like well we could but or we could bring Uh... sugar (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> it's like one of the blonde models which is just you know <laughs> they flipped a coin um but yeah um but yeah i'm happy for that both of these people are on this season and i'm excited to see hopefully both of them do well um because i'm kind of with the with the peeps that i've been voting for tyson uh you know i, I wouldn't mind some more uh, more votes going his way um as you guys know, he's one of my favorite contestants of all time. So obviously, uh, I hope for the best for him. People are gonna and, vote for him, even if he's the first boot. Now, we'll just watch it. People are yeah, gonna I mean, be like, like bring Tyson in. <laughs> here's the thing: he is also a winner on our channel. So, yeah. like you know, it is possible he may garner some more votes. Um, and yeah. if he becomes a two-time winner, then he's like a shoe in. Yeah, exactly. Um, yeah, I, it looks like poverty got locked in as the mvp of goats versus goats um and uh you know she did pretty good but i i don't know if she was necessarily mvp but she has the the name value especially on her channel to exactly <laughs> she's gonna drive votes yeah all righty okay uh moving on now to one of the most iconic rivalries and moments of survivor we got lex vandenberg and boston rob um who uh boston rob in all stars asks lex to uh, you know protect amber you know you gotta you gotta save amber keep her around um and he does and then the second they get to the merge Bosarov votes lex out <laughs> you know yeah. in a very bitter way like he basically 
outright tells him to his face, like, I'm voting you out. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, and it is, it is very cold. It is uh, it, it, like they were outside of the game friends until that moment. And because of that okay. one moment, it like ruined their friendship. Um <laughs> so we're gonna see if um uh them now having to come here play on a rival season but work together we're gonna see if they'll be able to to get over those uh those problems i don't think so um <laughs> you know uh i can see uh this rivalry continuing i love lex um one of my favorite old school contestants so glad he's back now in the running and rob has done pretty good on our channel um you know we've used him a lot um hasn't won he usually quite... makes it to like the finale or yeah. around there <laughs> yeah uh so like you know we, we i don't want to say it's safe to assume because you can never assume with brand steel yeah uh other than ryan it will probably cry at some point because his people get decimated <laughs> uh but yeah so i can see uh boss and rob doing pretty well we're well here and i mean statistically speaking the more we bring people the more likely they will eventually win at some so, point they've got to hit the one in 20 odds <laughs> exactly well in this one it's kind of like more like one in 22 yeah since you could consider uh not necessarily that they're another spot in there but they're another like another not that they're another contestant it's, it's but another tribal another... council they got to go to compared yeah. to, a, a, to your typical 20 person season yeah um though this one's a wee bit different because like you guys know the opening twist of this one yeah. um but i digress um yeah, yeah. Exactly. so excited yeah. for this yeah. yeah we'll see how they do um uh yeah Okay, and now the rivalry from the very first season of Survivor. We got Kelly Wigglesworth and Sue Hawk. And uh, yeah, uh, Sue gets really mad at Kelly near the end of the game because I think Kelly starts to want to maybe flip over to Jervis and Colleen. Um and it's kind of like, I don't know. I don't think it's right that we're just voting them all off. Um, and Sue takes this very, like, personally and is very offended that Kelly would even think such a terrible thought of not sticking with her alliance, even though she she would be the fourth person on the alliance anyway. So, I mean, yeah. <laughs> like, really, Kelly's making, like, the right decision by kind of being like, maybe I don't want to be with you guys to the end. Um, but yeah. Sue ends up going really against it and then has the you know iconic snakes and rats speech at the end which is supposed to be you know like showing why kelly needs to lose the game <laughs> exactly i mean like very iconic speech um probably um and i mean like she even like you know mentions that um wigglesworth and you know second chance a little bit though she also gives partial blame to you know pick a number between one and ten uh mm -hmm. but you know it these you know back in borneo this is you know obviously the first survivor before the meta was even like established you know they're all doing it for the first time with no frame of uh no, with no frame of reference really mm -hmm. and i mean i can understand and they're not the only season like in the early days you go with the tribe you had prior to um the merge that's how things kind of like rolled in the beginning um but like no kelly um was smart to do that kind of like what you were saying mm -hmm. and you know kelly is a smart player uh you know i really wish they used her more than just in like you know um cambodia mm -hmm. that she would have popped up in maybe one or two seasons prior to that mm -hmm. um because i do think especially if her being like in the very first season she was obviously a big standout and so like the fact that she was only in one season like 15 years later mm -hmm. um when you look at it was a little surprising yeah and also she had never watched survivor she, she had never watched it because she never she doesn't own a tv so she just uh the, her, the only survivor that she saw was when um she won that reward with jeff probes and they got to see the first 15 minutes of the show <laughs> for a hundredth you won a hundred thousand dollars and you couldn't buy a 
<laughs> yeah, yeah. She she doesn't want it. She's uh she's an outdoorsy person. True. Uh, yeah. Either way, you know. <laughs> um, but yeah, we've had both of them on our channel before, and it'll be interesting to see uh how everything pans out. I will say we do have a very good mix. I do feel like we picked from kind of like each little part of Survivor for uh for the most part, you know. Mm. Um so yeah, we got a good mix of peeps. Yeah, exactly. I'm uh, I'm definitely excited to see uh see how this uh pans out here. Um okay, who's uh who's your top uh three people from the Heroes tribe? I have to go with uh Spencer, Lex, and Courtney. Um you know, the thing well, with, with Courtney Which is... Courtney? With, with... Oh yeah, Yates. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yates. Um those three, you know, I love those three. Um, and I would be happy if any one of them uh finally were able to get a win. Nice, nice. Um, I'm also gonna go with Courtney Yates and Spencer, but I'm also gonna put in Amanda here. Let's see if Amanda can join Parvati in the two-time winners club. Yeah, I mean, there's there's a possibility we have three contestants that could do it. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. And the villains tribe. Um, who are your top three? More or less the same reason. Um, I have to choose Stephanie because, like, so many times, uh, she's been brought on here. It would be nice for her to finally get a win. Um, Tyson, you know, would be cool if he finally got a second win. And for third, you know, I wouldn't say it's like up in the air because there's a few people like I really enjoy. I do like Shan, um, Boss and Rob back in like all stars for my my buddy <laughs> he and i had an alliance so uh i'd say there's a tie for third place between shan and uh boston rob nice um yeah i'd probably go boston rob um i i'd go shan I, i'll give shan the the credit there um and then uh i'll also go uh chaos cast nice nice all righty you okay. ready yeah, a let's, uh, yeah, let's uh, get into this. Um, I did. Uh, there's the boost pair relationships. I have it on random this time. Last time I had it on maximum. This time I'm trying random. So okay. that means people could either hate their pair or that means they could love their pair. Who knows? <laughs> All right, we'll see. Okay. Okay, so the Heroes Tribe is going to vote first. Okay. Amanda vote for Bobby John. Bobby John votes for Lex. Courtney votes for Deshaun. Courtney Yates votes for Amanda. Deshaun votes for Courtney. Uh, Kelly votes for Ty. Oh no. Lex votes for Ty. Sierra votes for Lex. Spencer votes for Lex. Ty well, votes fuck. for Lex. Lex has been voted out on episode one. <laughs> Before the game even starts. Well. Well. Let's see who the villains vote out. Danielle votes for Shan. Jean Robert votes for Cass. Cass votes for Sue. Jason votes for Boston Rob. Boston Rob votes for Jason. Is Jason going to be the Russell Hans of this villain tribe? Maybe. <laughs> going at it with Boston Rob? Maybe. Uh, Shane votes for Jean Robert. Shan votes for Jason. Well, if he doesn't survive this. Stephanie votes for Shane. Sue votes for Danielle. Tyson votes for Jean Robert. We are tied between no. Jean Robert and Kyle <laughs> Jason. <laughs> Looks like he's not going to be Russell Hans this time around. Uh, okay. So Rocks will determine Wait, they got what? Oh wait, they tied. I yeah, yeah, they tied. So there's uh, so now they got to draw rocks. <laughs> to see who goes home. 
That's fucked. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. <laughs> oh man. Well, oh, well, uh, that bodes well for Boss Ross. <laughs> very much so. But will any of them swap? Or oh wait, no, they can do that in the beginning. Yeah. Um, Ty does not swap with Jason. Okay. Boston Rob! Oh! Um, you know what this was, right? This was Boston Rob being like, hey, I know I screwed up last time by not, uh, you know, valuing my, your, my friendship with you. I am going to make sure that you get a chance to play this one. I'm going there to Redemption Islands. You, you get, you get a play. I understand, but at the same time, no. <laughs> uh okay. Well, Boston Rob, just like that. Just removes himself from the game. Uh well, honestly, he wanted to fight Kyle Jason, right? He wanted to go toe-to-toe with the Russell hands. <laughs> what does Primus? Um, pride cometh before again. <laughs> uh, the the win, right? <laughs> no, the fall. <laughs> of course. Okay, the heroes tribe wins immunity. They also win Flint. Nice. Corny and Deshaun bond slightly. Bobby John and Ty have a small fight. Courtney and Deshaun bond slightly. And they have an alliance form. Courtney and Deshaun. Danielle and Sue find something in common. Cass and Shan bond slightly. And Cass and Stephanie have a minor disagreement. I swear. <laughs> if they vote out Stephanie. <laughs> I swear. Okay. Um so I kind of expect it. They might go after Lex because he already got eliminated. Um right. I can see him also going for there's no like real alliance right now, so it is very up in the air. It could be Lex, could be Stephanie, could be Cass, you know. Yeah, I'm uh I'm gonna say uh Stephanie is uh getting voted out here. I say no. <laughs> First vote goes to Shane. Second vote goes to Sue. Third vote goes to Shane. Fourth vote goes to Sue. Fifth vote goes to Shane. Sixth vote goes to Shane. Seventh vote goes to Sue. And Shane is gone as the uh, the first real tribal council boots. They couldn't handle his Shane esque. Yeah, he craziness. probably uh was uh, uh forgot to quit smoking again, and uh yeah. he just couldn't handle it this time. Um, so Shan, Shane, and Stephanie. Weird that all the S, <laughs> except for Sue, <laughs> voted <laughs> against Sue. The alliance. Okay. Well, the villain tribe has. Uh, been a little decimated so far. If uh, you look at it, Kyle, Jason yep. is there, Boss Rob is over there, and now Shane. <laughs> yeah, that's that's not good for them. Nope. And Courtney Merritt finds the Hero Tribe hidden immunity idol. All right, nice. Okay, when she's the only one in the alliance there. All right. Yeah. Does Courtney swap? No, she wouldn't. She wouldn't. <laughs> Ty does not swap with Jason. Lex swaps and <laughs> Jesus Christ back out there. What are you guys doing? <laughs> ah. Oh, oh my god, this is... 
this was Lex being like, no, screw you, boss and Rob. You don't get you don't get to decide uh, you know, who gets to go to Redemption Island here. I I got voted out. I'm going there. Screw you. Is this just gonna be a recurring thing with these two? Just every <laughs> episode they're gonna swap. <laughs> and Courtney does not swap. Okay. All right. Well, now um, only two villains are there, so. Who do you think it's going to be? I I think we're losing Shane. I, I if, if he if he's, uh, you know, going through withdrawals right now, no way he's he's winning this. I think uh, I would say out of the three, I would like it for it to be Shane. Mm hmm. But uh, I don't know the fact that they swap back. I can I can sense the tomfoolery uh, <laughs> in the making right now. Yeah. Okay. Let's see here. Operation at Balance Build. The first person advancing is Jason. Jason saves. Now it's either Lex or Shane. Who is the last person here safe? It is left. Okay. So Shane is eliminated. And Jason throws the clue into the fire for the idol. He doesn't even give it to anyone. He yeah, goes, he, no. he doesn't give anyone else the chance. He just gives it. Like, no, screw you guys. Uh, and the Heroes Try wins immunity again. They also win fishing gear, including lines, hooks, lures, and live baits. Nice. Courtney and Spencer have a minor disagreement. Boston Rob is impressing the rest of the team, but then has a minor disagreement with Stephanie. I swear. <laughs> is Stephanie going I swear. Home now? Okay, I'm going to say Stephanie. <laughs> Let's do it. First vote goes to Stephanie. Second vote goes to Cass. Third vote goes to Cass. Okay, all right, all right. Fourth vote there goes to hope. Cass. There is hope. Fifth vote goes to Stephanie. Sixth vote goes to Cass. And Cass has been voted out in a six to two vote. Okay. So who? Interesting. Was it Rob? No. No. It Shan. Was. Yeah, yeah. Shan uh, was the other one on the outs there. That's a uh, uh, second time Shan has been on the outs. Alrighty. Okay. Always forget it doesn't always open up redemption. Also, villains, why are you not aligning or finding out? Yeah, items? there's no alliances. Honestly, even on the heroes tribal, there's only Corny and Deshaun as alliance. <laughs> like that's the only alliance in the game. <laughs> Man. Okay. All right. So the question is, will Boss and Rob swap with Lex? Yeah. It, I mean, it seems like he'd be willing to. They're just, you know, you know, they have joint custody of Redemption Island. You know, it's. Yeah, yeah. They're just gonna go back and forth. They're, they're making this even Stevens, right? <laughs> exactly. Okay. Um. Let's see what happens here. Spencer does not swap. I swap with Jason. <laughs> Why? Why? <laughs> this isn't even like, like it kind of could make sense if you do this like late game, make a swap to make like a huge big move if uh, you think that you're not really doing anything in like the main game. But this is there's still so much. You gotta win so many challenges to get back in the game right now. <laughs> so uh, all right. So we had one stupid act. Will we see another one? Boston Rob does not swap. Okay. So which I think it's Ty. I think he messed up. You know, I'm going to say I think Lex goes home here because Boss and Rob doesn't switch with him. We shall see. Okay. 
first advancing player, Cass. It is either Lex or Ty. One of us is wrong. And the second person advancing here, it's Ty. That means Lex goes home because Boston Rob doesn't switch with him again. <laughs> God damn. Wow. Why? And Cass also throws the clue into the fire. Okay. And the hero yeah. tribe wins immunity. <laughs> this does not look good. <laughs> well, then again, they can just having a bad time out there. They they just swap someone out, and that's all good. <laughs> uh, Kelly and Jason bond slightly, and Courtney and Kelly bond strongly. And finally, a, a, a big alliance here of Courtney, the Courtney's, Deshaun, Kelly, and Sierra. Deshaun's in heaven right now. <laughs> no, right? He's just got all the girls around him. <laughs> yep. Yep. Uh, okay. Jean Robert and Chan find something in common. Boston Rob and Stephanie have a minor disagreement again. As a new alliance forms between Danielle, Jean Robert, Rob, and Sue. What's that? And Stephanie works hard at camp and becomes tired. All right. So the the first real line, and that's that's the majority on this tribe. So even though it's only four, <laughs> I guess let's let's just rip off the band aid. Yeah, here goes Stephanie. <laughs> first vote goes to Stephanie. Second vote goes to Shan. Third vote goes to Stephanie. Fourth vote goes to Shan. Fifth vote goes to Stephanie. And Stephanie is voted out. <laughs> Yo, Bobby John, do you want to follow this trend of swapping? Uh, man. Bobby John, follow the trend. <laughs> uh, Tyson was the one voted on the house this time. Mm. Yeah, Bob Bobby John. If uh, if, if we Bobby voted John, anything, come yeah. on. <laughs> yeah, people love swapping. This is on a random, and yet it were they're playing as if they're on maximum uh, bonding strain. <laughs> uh, we're able to check it afterwards, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, I, I think so. I, I I've never actually checked into it um since they've updated it, so we 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 can uh, definitely try. We'll definitely see. Yeah. Uh... Yeah. Okay. And Danielle finds the villain tribe hidden immunity idol. All right. Makes sense. Okay. So Stephanie arrives on Redemption Island. Will anyone make swap. switches? Spencer does not swap. Bobby John swap. Bobby John does not swap. Do they and swap? Jason no. does not swap. All right, Stephanie, you have this. You have this. Okay. I'm going to say Cass goes home. I'm on board with that. Stephanie okay. finished it first. <laughs> she can make it a little further. And the last person surviving here, it's Ty. All right, you called it. Yep. And she gives the clue to Bobby John. It's not good. And the Heroes Tribe wins <laughs> immunity. <laughs> Man. They're going to be down to five. <laughs> yeah, this is a complete defamation. <laughs> the swap doesn't happen until, I think, episode either six or seven. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's seven. Jason is impressing the rest of the team. And Jason and Sierra have a small fight. Jason, stuff. And then a new alliance forms between Amanda, Bobby John, Courtney, Kelly Williamsworth, and Kyle Jason. All right. Hmm. 
this is the opposite Deshaun and the girl with alliance uh you know it's 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 the uh it's a counter measure to uh that alliance that could run the game if uh they don't yeah. put something in place because courtney yates is, or courtney yates is here not courtney Merritt, and yeah. so with three different alliances going around it's a little trick um i'd say i would have to see the full team but there's at least like one of the guys is not um in the loop here mm -hmm. but we won't know until next episode because yep <laughs> uh, the John Robert leaves the alliance the four person alliance is already breaking up as a new alliance form between Danielle, Sue, and Tyson alright so let's see so so Sue and Danielle great position because they're in both they're in two different three person groups who those will probably be the groups that decide who goes home in some regards um yeah. and they each have kind of Boston Rob on one end and Tice on the other, kind of leading them around. So so it's so, really kind of a four person group, but so oh. it's either John Robert or um we I guess button. we can look or Shan. Shan. I can see I'm gonna say John Robert. I might say Shan for okay. this one. Okay, I, I'm just doing that just because you know he's uh he left that alliance. Maybe there's some some ill will, um, going that way. First vote goes to Shan. Second vote goes to Shan. Third vote goes to Jean Robert. Fourth vote goes to Shan. And Shan unanimously voted out. Well. Ugh. Okay. All right. Now, will Deshaun switch with her? <laughs> I'd like to say I don't think so, but this Brand Steel has been very, very, uh, this simulation this time around is very, very, uh, plays fast and loose with the swapping. Yeah. They're, they're having fun. Um, it's weird because, like, the villain tribe has been decimated, but, you know, you, we still got, like, uh, Kyle Jason over here. Um, yeah. If, if Deshaun makes a switch, like, it would still feel almost like there's some villains. <laughs> I mean, there are three perfect. villains on Redemption, so they're not quite out of the game just yet. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, we'll see here. Okay, let's go to Redemption Island with Shan, Stephanie, and Ty. I think it will be Ty. Deshaun uh, swaps and goes to Redemption Island. What are these people on this season? Oh my gosh, you know what happened? This is this is um they 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 saw Yuichi uh in uh, anime duos uh use this to his advantage. And so now everyone has decided, I guess we all got to swap if we're on the season, you know, we got to we got to be the one to make that big crazy move. <laughs> did, did it really work out for Yuichi? No. He's I mean, still lost. He made top 4. <laughs> He's still lost. <laughs> Uh, Bobby John does not swap. Jason does not swap. I think I'm I think it's either Ty, Ty or Deshaun. I feel like Deshaun might pay for swapping. Yeah, I think I think they need someone to just like completely with it here, so that way it doesn't feel like <laughs> like we need a we need a cautionary tale for this this cast right now, and I think this yeah. probably needs to be the one. <laughs> well, I mean, Lex was kind of it, but yeah, yeah, but Lex at least won a challenge and then went out. So like he didn't get That's the fair. immediate karma. Stephanie right. finishes first; she is safe. And Ty finishes second to Sean. <laughs> Is eliminated. And Stephanie throws this clue into the fire. Okay. And the hero's try wins a movie. <laughs> oh my gosh. I just, just like... 
man, it, it, this this thing has to come soon because there's not going to be anyone left on that tribe. <laughs> I know, right? Uh, they also win coffee, tea, croissants, and biscotti. Oh, I want to, if we go back real quick, I want to check something. Uh, so people that are not, all right, so, so far, two people are a part of this tribe that weren't a part of this tribe. Mm -hmm. Um, man. Yeah, it's, uh, <laughs> that's the villains that they're lucky that Redemption Island's there, because at least some of them can be brought back onto a winning tribe. Yeah. <laughs> Just, wow. Okay. Courtney and Sierra bond strongly. And Courtney has a major meltdown. The other Courtney merits. And Kelly and Spencer bond slightly. Okay. That I guess it's John Robert. He's the only one not in alliance. Yeah, it's it has to be. Danielle uses her idol on Sue. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm just like saying, all right, well, was this a good move? I'm like, it's surprising, yes, but I'm like, Did, are we are we not seeing something? Yeah, well, I mean, there was no events, so it's like, yeah. First vote goes to Jean Robert. <sighs> Second vote goes to Danielle. Third vote goes to Jean Robert. And Jean Robert is voted out. <laughs> Doesn't even. Oh, Danielle. <laughs> I mean, she's she's the captain of sports. That she doesn't know strategy. She just knows how to be physical. <laughs> well, just like that, the villains tribe is down to four people, and I think there's still one more tribal council to go to. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They've uh, they've had to go through the ringer so far. They definitely need this uh, mix up in the next episode. Yeah, they really need to win this <laughs> this immunity. <laughs> I don't th I don't see it happening. <laughs> okay, Redemption Island. Is anyone gonna switch? I can see Courtney swap it because it makes zero sense. <laughs> Oh, she has to get to the merge. She's she's so close. To it. This is the furthest she's gotten in a normal Survivor season because she had to go to tribal. I wish I can say that she would do the smart thing. I wish I can say that. But this place is no fairy tale land for Courtney. Mm -hmm. oh. No, Courtney Yates, you. Why? Just Do you why? not want to get to the merge? Are you allergic to the merge? <laughs> I, I believe so. I believe so. Oh my god. For Jean Robert, too. Like, not even, like, for someone she likes. It's for Jean Robert. Oh. Bobby John does not swap. Jason does not swap. Courtney's going. I'm just like. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna say Courtney. I don't want any of these three to go. To be honest, the night like, of these three is gonna be like a yeah. At least uh, I'm glad that person goes. Like, it's not gonna. Neither do. Neither do I. I would say I'm okay with Ty going because he is a winner, but. Mm -hmm. The other two, they really never had a good run before. So, like, come on. Okay, let's see here. First person to finish is Courtney Yates. Come on, Stephanie. Okay, Stephanie, Stephanie. who will be safe? Stephanie is also safe. All right. Oh, I'm that sorry, Ty. Okay. Uh, they're not finishing time. And Courtney gives the clue to Sierra. They had a little bonding they session. Win immunity. That. The heroes try to <laughs> immunity. Oh. Who's going to be the 
Who's going to be the it, new it, staff? It's, it's just as tribe is so good because look at we got three villains who have now transplanted over onto this tribe and they're <laughs> still winning. <laughs> My God. There's oh. going to be. <laughs> this is. We have five people in this game that have not gone to tribal. Well, technically. There's more because Redemption either. Islands. Um, Jason didn't either. Um, yeah. because of um oh know, yeah he went out he went out right away so yeah he's technically still uh, hasn't there, gone there are six people and if you count courtney that's seven uh man this is crazy courtney and shan bond strongly bobby john and spencer have a small fights and amanda leaves the alliance uh, right here. And Jason works hard at camp to become sires. And all we got here is Boston and Rob and Sue bonding strongly. So the way I see it, because there's four and Danielle and Sue are tight, and Boston Rob and Sue are tight. It looks like it's Tyson's time. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. I mean, yeah, Boston Rob's kind of um and, and Sue are kind of in the epicenter here. So um it looks looks bad for Tyson. He that's definitely needed to much. find that idol that's been waiting uh since Danielle played it. It's the wrong. <laughs> First vote goes to Tyson. Second vote goes to Boston Rob. Third vote yep. goes to Tyson. And Tyson is voted off. Very just unfortunate luck for Tyson here for their tribe just never winning. Man. <laughs> Who knows? Sierra might swap. Okay. Yeah, this is uh this is uh the episode of the twist, but we got Redemption Island first. Is Sierra going to swap? Or we'll see. Jean Robert does not swap. Bobby John swaps with Stephanie. <laughs> oh my God. We have, have we had an episode, yes, where someone doesn't swap? I think we've had to swap every time that the option's been available. <laughs> yep. In one way or another. Oh my God. Okay. And Sierra does not swap. Tyson does have to win a challenge. All right. I'm okay with Bobby John going. Okay. First person to finish, Courtney Yates, who will also be finishing here. Bobby John. That means Tyson is eliminated. He already has a win. He's probably coming back anyway for... Yeah, let's be honest. Things. Someone's going to give him at least a third place finish and he'll end up coming back, so... I can't wait. I can't be too bad. I can't be yeah. too bad. He might be making All-Star 15 and never made the merge in this uh, season, so... <laughs> okay. As part of a twist, New Tribes are randomly assigned... Okay, so the new Heroes Tribe is Stephanie, Amanda, Danielle, Sierra, Kelly, and Sue. And the new Villains Tribe is Shan, Kyle, uh, Spencer, Jean Robert, Courtney, and Rob. All right, so the interesting thing about the Villains Tribe, as you can see, it, it comprises of four villains, all of which have been to redemption at one point or the other. Mm -hmm. and two heroes which i think is funny that the villains have been doing so poorly that all the villains that are left in the game right now have either been voted out or been on redemption there's only <laughs> two that haven't so far yeah <laughs> danielle and susan but you know they're playing a pretty decent enough game where it, you know it kind of makes sense but wow 
This, is yeah, this, is, this uh, has been a very rough game for all the villains so far. We'll see if the Heroes tribe is just a special tribe or if it really was the people because um, if, if this villain tribe goes, <laughs> it keeps losing, even with uh, this little shakeup, it'll be it'll pretty funny. <laughs> Man. It, uh, you know, we'll find out in the next two before the merge. Okay, who wins immunity? The Heroes Tribe wins immunity. They also win a fully stocked picnic basket. Hey, boo -boo. Sorry. <laughs> Danielle has a major meltdown. And Stephanie and Sue bond slightly. And Bobby John leaves the alliance. Makes sense. You're not in the game. Yeah. Yeah, that would that would definitely <laughs> hope that. <laughs> I mean, neither is Courtney, but still. Uh, Jean Robert and Jason bond slightly. Okay. All right. I think um, you target. Well, Courtney has the idol. Yeah, Courtney so... has the idol. You also have to remember, uh, Kyle. Even though he was started on the villain tribe. Probably feels more like a, he's on the hero tribe because he spent the whole game on the hero tribe. Um, that makes sense. Same with Shan and Jean Robert. Like they got voted out by Boston Rob. Is this just going to be a turn now on Boston Rob? I think so. Yeah. And Courtney uses the hero tribe hidden immunity idol on Shan. First vote goes to Shan, does not count. Second vote goes to Shan, does not count. Third vote goes to Shan, does not count. Fourth vote goes to Jason. Ooh. And Jason yep. is idled out of the game. This, this villain tribe is just like... <laughs> Nothing can go right for them. No. They have one episode left. <laughs> to, to, to at least come away with something. Can you get like a small victory, villain? <laughs> we'll see. Also, I'm 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 interested to see who swaps here. Uh -huh. I'm very interested. Because it's happened every time. Okay, let's see. We got Bobby John, Courtney, and Kyle. We uh J Jason can't uh get a swap, I believe, right? No tie. No yep. tie. Stephanie, don't you? Stephanie do does not swap, and John Robert does not swap. The first time it took us till episode eight for someone to not swap. And they're like, maybe this isn't a good idea. Yeah, look at all the people who have been voted out or are gone. Like uh, they swapped, and um... <laughs> well, both. Okay. okay, well, both of these people are swap ins, Bobby John and uh, Courtney. So, mm -hmm. all right, come on, Courtney. Okay. They're going to have on. to build a fire. This is the fire making challenge, but on Redemption Island. And Bobby John finishes first. Come on, Courtney. Courtney. Courtney, come on. Jason. And Jason. No! <laughs> oh, you fool. <laughs> We're so close. <laughs> ah. We're so close. Courtney, why? You could have just never had to go to tribal. You could have, you could have, you, you, you had the, you had the opportunity. <laughs> you just, you threw it all away for Jean Robert. <laughs> <laughs> And Bobby John throws the clue in the fire. And I guess heroes win. Villains have won an immunity. All right. They also win fried chicken and a southern picnic. All right, good. Okay, they get one little breath. Yeah, they, they, can, they can rest for like a couple of days. <laughs> um, Amanda and Sierra have small fights. 
and Spencer finds the villain's tribe hidden immunity idol. Nice. And Courtney works hard at camp and becomes tired. Okay. All right. Yeah, it's an all female tribe here. All right. Who is it? Who are you? Could it be Amanda or Sierra? I mean, like, here's the thing. Three of these people have not been to tribal council before. Uh-huh. Um, so like usually when that happens, hostility kind of breeds a little. Mm-hmm. Um, it is also funny to mention that both Amanda and Danielle and Kelly and Susan are both uh, two pairs on this tribe. Mm-hmm. And uh, Danielle and Susan are in an alliance, a very strong one, nonetheless. So I'm just saying it could, I think uh, it's going to be one of the four, in my opinion. I... I'm going to say Stephanie LaGrosa gets voted off here. You're just saying that to make me... <laughs> I 100% I am. And <laughs> we're going to see what happens. <laughs> First vote goes to Sierra. Second vote goes to Amanda. Third vote goes to Sierra. Fourth vote goes to Sierra. Fifth vote goes to Amanda. Sixth vote goes to Amanda. We are tied between Amanda and Sierra. Let's get rocks. No. Who <laughs> the rocks? Come on. Nope. No rocks. No rocks. First vote goes to Sierra. Second vote goes to Sierra. Third vote goes to Amanda. One vote left. And Sierra okay. is voted out. Congratulations, Stephanie. You have made the merge. Unless you... <laughs> I swear, if she's Oh, yeah, lost, look at that. It's because Stephanie made the flip. If she didn't, there's a chance she gets rocked out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> is, unless you're absolutely on bottom, never go to rocks. <laughs> okay. All right. Here we go. Final redemption of the pre-merge. We'll see who will be joining. We got Bobby John, we got Kyle Jason, and we got Sierra Reed. I swear if she swaps. <laughs> if Stephanie swaps and then <laughs> goes out. <laughs> Stephanie does not swap. Okay. Okay, and then they don't Reed. have any partners in the game. All right, out of the three, who would you like to see come back into the game? Um, I mean, it's probably either Bobby John or Jason. Um, Bobby John has, um, you know, he 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 made the big heroic move to save Stephanie. You know, I think he should get rewarded for that. Um, also, Jason has been, you know, he got voted off right away, made the swap, kind of got in with the heroes, and now is back over here. Could be fun to see him. Uh, make a make a return again. Yeah, I'm gonna say. Uh, yeah, you know, I'm gonna root for Sierra. Okay. First person eliminated is Sierra. I see what you did. Yeah. Not you, Brand Steel. <laughs> and now we got Jason is eliminated. Bobby John has returned to the game. And he gets a clue to the hidden immunity idol. Yeah, look at that. All right. Now, yeah. let's go over our yin-yang tribe. Uh, so, I would say this one has been pretty interesting. I'd say that da- Danielle and Susan, they're a pretty good duo right now. Um, I would say that Courtney is also playing a strong game. Playing She's also one of the only people that played an idol right. Um, mm-hmm. um, we've been seeing a lot of the villain. Let's just see how many people are left in the game that have been voted out at one. So almost half, no, over half the people have been on Redemption Island. Yeah. <laughs> That's nuts. Yeah, um, this, is, this is really crazy with how... Uh... How integral that has been for the season thus far. 
I know it's it's bonkers. Uh, if we're looking, we have we have five villains and six heroes. Um, yeah, I would say, like I said earlier, I'd say uh, Courtney Merritt, mm. no longer Courtney Yates. Uh, Danielle and Susan are playing good games. Um, it's really tough to say with some of the heroes because we haven't seen too much of them with the gameplay. Yeah, there has been alliances, but those alliances, other than one time, haven't really been truly put to the test. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I I'd say don't count out Boston Rob. Of course, um, he was part of the three people from the villains tribe to survive the uh <laughs> the you know exorcism yeah. of, of of that tribe. So uh, so he's he's managed to be here. Um, Bobby John one um. Uh, his way back in uh save stephanie so maybe uh could utilize that uh moving forward perhaps uh, um yeah. actually he will be going to tribal council for the first time yeah. um so i will also say we only have three of the pairs that made it to this point which as you said bobby john and stephanie amanda and danielle and kelly wigglesworth and susan yeah, so we we will probably have uh, um not as many swaps hopefully because now there's only a few people who can uh can can do that. So hopefully, hopefully now it's uh everyone's like okay, we got the swap. We can chill. Way. Let's just play play some Survivor now. <laughs> exactly. Okay, let's see who wins first individual immunity, Jean Robert. His immunity dedicated to Courtney Yates. Yeah, yeah, he did a Mike Gabler thing, but he dedicated um the entire challenge to just moments of Courtney Yates uh being disgusted by him. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Courtney and Sue have a minor disagreement, and Courtney and Kelly's alliance dissolves. Hmm. So Corny did not like that she was working with Kelly, who was with Sue. Mm. All right. It's tough to say. Who goes here? Do they just send Bobby John back? Or do like the heroes just keep targeting some villains? I'd say since so many people here have been on Redemption that I don't think they really um, follow that kind of theme. Mm -hmm. They might target the heroes because, like, y'all had it too easy, you know, <laughs> this entire game. Yeah, yeah. The the villains who have had to play as much as uh, some of these ones have, like, they're, they're going to be cutthroat right now. Exactly. Okay, let's see here. First vote goes to Amanda. Second one goes to Bobby John. Third vote goes to Courtney. Fourth vote goes to Amanda. Fifth vote goes to Bobby John. Sixth vote goes to Courtney. Seventh vote goes to Bobby John. Eighth vote goes to Courtney. Mm -hmm. Ninth vote goes to Bobby oh, John. Well, and Bobby John is voted out. Oh boy. Okay, so Boston Rob, Courtney, Danielle, Shan, Spencer, and Sue voted Bobby John. Amanda, Bobby John, and Stephanie voted Courtney, and John Robert and Kelly voted Amanda. All right, so it is that majority of, and that's six. Yeah. So it's that majority of six of Rob, Danielle, Courtney, Shannon, Spencer, and Sue. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think this was Boston Rob. You know, he he did this on his Redemption Island season. You vote out the person who just came back in right away. Don't even let that person, uh, you know, be be uh, involved. You know, like no. even though some of these other people have been on Redemption Island, they didn't actually necessarily have to win their way back in. Bobby John did, so he's got that resume, whereas uh, they don't. They got someone else who bailed them out. But will Stephanie? 
<laughs> yeah, well, Stephanie swap now. <laughs> well, at least at least she, uh, that won't happen. I think until episode eleven here. Yeah. Spencer finds the Yin Yang tribe hidden immunity idol. He now has two idols in his possession. Nice. Okay. And Amanda wins immunity. Alrighty. Okay. Courtney and Danielle have a major fight. Oh no. The Panama. Peeps. Danielle and Kelly find something in common. Oh, okay. It could be Courtney Merritt. Mm -hmm. Um, but if we're talking that alliance of six, I know Wigglesworth was not in it. Um, Stephanie wasn't in it. John Robert, I don't think he was in that either. Um, so yeah, I feel like it could be any one of those. Okay. I'm going to say Stephanie LaGrosa. <laughs> no. No. She's managed to make it here to merge. <laughs> uh, okay. First vote. Goes to Jean Robert. Second vote goes to Spencer. Third vote goes to Courtney. Fourth vote goes to Courtney. Fifth vote goes to Jean Robert. Sixth vote goes to Jean Robert. Seventh vote goes to Courtney. Eighth vote goes to Jean Robert. And Jean Robert is voted out. out of the game. So who voted who here? Um, so Boston Rob, Courtney, Danielle, Kelly, Spencer, and Sue voted Jean Robert. Amanda, Jean Robert, and Stephanie voted Courtney, and Shan voted Spencer. It's that one alliance, you know. Yeah, yeah they're they're it looks like they're in, in complete control right now. Yeah. Um, so that means Amanda, Stephanie, and Shan are going to have to make some miracles happen. <laughs> I mean, Shan was in the previous vote for the Bobby John one, so yeah. it couldn't be. She may not be totally out of it just yet. I know, like mm -hmm. Kelly wasn't part of it, so yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Okay, let's see who wins immunity. Courtney wins immunity. All right. Kelly has a major meltdown. Amanda and Danielle bond strongly. Well, that's good. Courtney and Sue bond strongly. So yeah, Amanda and Danielle getting over their little uh, scuff uh, from Heroes versus Villains, trying to work together now. All right. Let me guess who you think is going to be. I'm guessing you think it's Stephanie. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm still guessing Stephanie. It, it is very much possible right here. Yeah. You know, I'm just going off a track record. She hasn't necessarily made it very far previously. And she's got here because she got swapped in with Bobby John. You know, I'm just saying, you know, there's, there's a good chance that... um. She's not going to be able to wiggle her way out of this one. <laughs> Bless you. Thank you. Okay. Spencer uses the villain stripe hitting me on Shan. Spencer uses the hidden yin yang on Why? What is going on? In one go. Look at that. All uh, right. Is this, is this like a poverty? Like, is he just like being like, I'm just going to cover my bases here? Uh, if, has there ever been a moment where a person played two idols wrong? I don't think so. I, I think anytime someone's done that, it's been riots. I, I just, I'm not having, we're having trouble seeing why these do and why now. Yeah, so this that's is definitely a like, very, this is definitely a weird move. 
Um, but we'll see. Let's see if uh, it's right. First vote goes to Shan, does not count. Second vote goes to Shan, does not count. Third vote goes to Shan, does not count. Fourth vote goes to Shan, does not count. Fifth vote goes right. to Shan, does not count. Sixth vote goes to Shan, does not count. And Amanda. Oh. Amanda has been idled out by Spencer. Dang. So he ends right. up being right, but didn't necessarily need to blow that idol on Sue. I'm guessing he just didn't know which one he was going to be targeted. Yeah. Yeah, it's hard because Sue's in the majority. She's been in the majority. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, Courtney, Shannon, and Spencer were on the out, so... It, it it's I guess um he wanted to use both but did he should have used on himself I guess like maybe he had immunity like, or <laughs> Sue believe or he believes that Sue is on his side yeah okay well it's been a while since we've seen Redemption Island um but we will see this episode who uh. Who will be eliminated? Also, I'm worried for Stephanie. She, the simulation, loves swapping things around. Yep. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Let's uh, let's do one more uh, episode here, and then we'll uh, we'll do an, another little uh, assessment of how everyone's doing. All right. Okay. Amanda, Bobby, John, and John Robert. Danielle does not swap. Stephanie does not swap, and he can't have anyone swap. Okay. I'm hoping Bobby John is eliminated, so I don't have to worry about Stephanie swapping in. (laughs) Uh, Okay. First place, Amanda. Second, and still in the game, goes to Bobby John. (laughs) Okay. Uh, well, and there goes bye. Robert. Look at that G- great use of making corny swap with you, Jean Robert. He really, really did great there. Yep. I mean, he made the merge. Yeah, he won an immunity. Yeah. Uh, Amanda gives the clue to Danielle. And Spencer wins immunity. He also wins hamburgers, hot dogs, french fries, and soda. Nice. Okay. Boston Rob and Sue have a small fight. Spencer is impressing the rest of the team. And Kelly works hard at camp and becomes tired. Um, I'm going to say, I guess, Courtney or Shan goes home here. Yeah. I can see that. I'll 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 say I'll say Shan just because she got the votes last time. Yeah. Like, Iowa back on her. First vote goes to Courtney. Second vote goes to Stephanie. Third vote goes to Courtney. Fourth vote goes to Stephanie. Fifth vote or uh yeah, yeah. Fifth vote goes to Stephanie. Sixth vote goes to Courtney. Oh, no. Vote goes to Stephanie. And we are tied between Courtney and Stephanie. Guys, make the right decision. Courtney Merritt. (laughs) Okay. First vote goes to Courtney. Second vote goes to Courtney. Third vote goes to Courtney. Yeah, so they they just split the votes. Um, the majority split the votes probably, and said Stephanie's the like the least is the most on the outs of the majority, and we're just yeah. like let's just pile votes on her. Okay, so Boston Rob, Danielle, Stephanie, and Stu voted Courtney uh, at first, and then Courtney, Kelly, Shan, and Spencer voted Stephanie, and they all flipped on the Courtney. All right. All right. So we're looking at these seven and we can touch on uh, people on redemption as well. 
I'd say Danielle and Susan, they're still this really strong alliance. I think Spencer, while he is an underdog, is still play, playing a pretty solid game. Mm-hmm. Um, that's really, I would say those four are kind of the big standouts. Um, we got Bobby John holding, um, holding the floor down over there. Um, and then, yeah, I'd say out of everyone, I'd say those are kind of like the four standouts to me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I think, I think that's about right. Um, uh, we are seeing though, um, the use of a major alliance kind of running the game, which is Boston Rob's playbook. Like that is yeah. his, his MO. So, um, definitely, uh, still want to keep a look out for him, but yeah, I definitely think Sue, Danielle and Stephanie are probably the top three right now for me. Yeah. And then and then I think Spencer, but um he's also I think uh got a big target on his back now for oh, he like definitely double does. idol and winning an immunity. I mean that idol is still out there. Who knows? He might uh find it again. True, true. Okay. Amanda, Bobby John, and Courtney are on Redemption Island. Danielle does not swap. And Stephanie does not swap. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Who is advancing? Courtney finishes first. So it's either Amanda Kimmel or Bobby John who are going to go home here. And Amanda finishes. Therefore, Bobby John goes home. Yeah. Stephanie, you got this. <laughs> and Corny throws the clue in the fire. Yeah, you got you got your wish. Stephanie can't just randomly go home. Um, and Shan wins immunity. All right. And Stephanie finds the yin yang drive in an immunity. Yes. <laughs> oh my god. Brand Steel is showing me some love. <laughs> Danielle and Kelly have a major fights. Boston Rob is impressing the rest of the team. Okay. Um, I, I mean, I think Spencer goes home here. I think they just pile the votes on Spencer. It makes sense. Because, like, yeah, Shan's kind of, yeah, Shan's got immunity, so yeah. I, He's the only one that's on the outs that's left. Exactly. First vote goes to Spencer. Second vote goes to Kelly. Third vote goes to Kelly. Fourth vote goes to Spencer. Fifth vote goes to Kelly. Maybe not. Sixth vote goes to Spencer. One vote left. And Spencer is voted out. You know, he had a great performance this time around. And he might come back. He might. Yeah. So, Bossa Rob, Danielle, Kelly, and Sue voted Spencer. Shan, Spencer, and Stephanie voted Kelly. I think Stephanie was trying to maybe uh, get an uprising here against the majority yeah. of the games. But um, I think it was a little too late now. Um she couldn't quite get the numbers there. So she might have just put herself now on the, you know, the side of uh, Shan here. So maybe. Okay. Two more tribal councils before um, the finale. All right. Ugh. Danielle does not swap. There's no swapping happening here. House of Cards. Okay. First place goes to Amanda. Amanda is still in the game. And then second and still in the game goes to... Come on, Spence. Spencer. Okay, that means Corny's out. Spencer, congratulations. Still in the game. He lives to fight another day. Uh, she throws the clue into the fire. 
And Kelly wins immunity and shares the reward with Sue and Boston Rob. Yeah, they get some uh, ice cream, uh, ice cream stand to be brought to camp for the afternoon. Oh, nice. Okay. Uh, so I think Shan goes home here. What about you? I'm trying to see if there's any, because it's really, it's really Danielle, Rob, and Sue. So they can definitely do Shan. Um, Stephanie does have the idol. Mm -hmm. If she wants to really shake things up, maybe. But um, I mean, with the idol play, then it could be anyone. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think I think she's going to tr probably try to get the votes on Shan and maybe use the idol next tribal. I can see her yeah. trying to do something like that. Let's uh, let's see though. I will say no one this season has played an idol for themselves. Yeah, it's all. It, everyone has been very caring towards everyone who's on the season. They're swapping with each other. They're playing idol for each other. Yeah. <laughs> That they're, they're uh, making uh, alliances that they want to keep uh, sticking with. <laughs> All right. Goes to Shan. Second vote goes to Shan. Third vote goes to Stephanie. Fourth vote goes to Shan. And Shan is unanimously voted out there. Okay. Last episode before the finale. It is Boston Rob with uh with four girls right now. Yeah. He wasn't married, he'd be yeah, no. <laughs> Okay. Redemption Islands. All right. This is tricky. I do like all of these contestants. Mm -hmm. uh, as long as Spencer doesn't go, I will be okay. Yeah, I mean, I, I guess I'd be rooting for Shan, I guess, to go home here because I want Amanda and Spencer to have a chance. Uh, I'd say I'm tied between Amanda and Shan. Like, mm -hmm. I really like Shan. And on the other hand, I like Amanda, but I also think it'd be cool to have another two-time winner. And she's like the last one left, so mm -hmm. I'm torn. Or Danielle could swap. No, she doesn't. Danielle does not. That would have been ideal, I think. <laughs> uh, yeah, and then they don't have any partners. In the but game. I mean, Danielle's position in the game is so good that it's like yeah. she doesn't really need to. Yeah, true. Spencer finishes first. He is safe. Okay, right. Either Amanda or Shan going home here. And Shanna finishes second. That means Amanda is out. Dang. Uh, well, she, she's already good won. Run. Still pretty good run. Yeah, Spencer's given the idol clue to uh, Boss and Rob. All right. And Kelly wins immunity and shares the reward with Sue. Look at that. They have, they have gotten close. Yeah. All right, so Stephanie has to play the idol now because she's the only one that's not in any of this. Yeah. And so with that being said, other than Kelly, no one else is immune. So I think the idol is going to be played. Stephanie's going to play your idol, and it's either going to be Sue, Danielle, or Rob. Okay. Sue has a major meltdown. Sue almost quits the game as a result, but decides to stay. Just what? You've come um, so far. Oh, uh, that's not a good look for the end game of someone's survivor. <laughs> At least you didn't pull a Silco, but like, good God. Yeah, that's, I mean, no one's going to want to for someone who almost quits near the end of the game. So... That being said, I think it's either Danielle or Rob. Um, yeah. I don't know which one is more advantageous because, like, with the finale next episode and the last Redemption Island, 
I don't really think you're too keen to swap at mm -hmm. the final, final one. And then, like, Rob's already been, I, I don't know. I think it'd be interesting if uh, it was either Danielle or Susan. And then uh, <laughs> we have a season where it's like, or uh, three out of the five people have been on Redemption Island <laughs> yeah. at one point. Yeah, it's crazy. It, 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 more people have been on Redemption Islands um, and then have returned to the game in some way than um, people. Any who other season yeah. that we've done. <laughs> uh. And Stephanie uses her hidden immune idol on herself. First vote goes to Stephanie, does not count. Second vote goes to Stephanie, does not count. Third vote goes to Stephanie, does not count. Fourth vote goes to Danielle. And Danielle is voted out. Yeah, so Kelly voted with Stephanie there. All right. Okay. Let's um let's do Redemption Island and then we'll do our uh, finale assessments. All right. So out of these three, who do you hope comes back? I I have to say Spencer is my number one. Oh yeah, I think Spencer like is far above for, for me. Yeah. Okay. First person eliminated is Danielle. Okay, we're either getting Shan to return to the game or Spencer. And Shan is eliminated. Spencer. Spencer returns to the game, receiving a clue to the hidden immunity idol. That is back in play. Yep. All right. Okay. So Who, who's going to win immunity, though? That's going to be a huge uh, factor here. As Sue wins immunity. After almost quitting, too. Yeah. Uh, Boss and Rob and Stephanie find something in common. And Sue has a major meltdown again. You're so close. Don't. She is freaking out that she's at the end game here. All right. So, first, let's, um, with the assessment of who's left, I would say. Rob has kind of like come up as kind of like, well, Susan has been kind of losing her stuff. She was like in a great position in this game. Yeah. Um, but her stock has kind of gone down a little, but I still think, well, I mean, with Susan, she can still maybe pull it through. I don't know. Um, Spencer came back. I think he has a really good shot. Kelly. Mm. I could see maybe. Um, it does speak to both Kelly and Susan being the last um, duo left mm -hmm. and also being the last one in here. Yeah. Um, and then, you know, Stephanie, I feel like her end game is doing all right, uh, but she's still kind of on that. Maybe she um, gets in Spencer and Kelly and then take out the two. Yeah, um, she, she has a few routes. She can either have everyone just immediately vote out Spencer and then hope she can maybe win an immunity at the end. Um, or she could try to work with Spencer. Maybe, you know, Sue's been a little uh, sporadic right now. Maybe you try to get Sue to make a, a weird move against Boston Rob or Kelly here. Um, maybe. Uh, but, I mean, she's probably not voting against Kelly, so it'd have to be against Boston Rob. Um, I, I would definitely say, I think right now it's these three are are my front runners and uh, weirdly enough, they are the three people who have been on Redemption Island. I think this jury is going to respect the people who have returned somehow from Redemption Island. I, so I many feel of them like there's more been. merit with Spencer though, because he won his way back in. Yeah. Yeah. Agreed. So, so that's why there's a good chance that they maybe want to take him out quick. So that way yeah, Rob and Stephanie don't have to feel like that part of their game's kind of not there. Yeah. Okay. First vote goes to Spencer. Second vote goes to Kelly. 
Third vote goes to Kelly. Four foot goes to Spencer. One vote left. And Spencer is voted out. Yeah, Stephanie tried to work with Spencer, but um, I don't think they were able to get Sue to make a make a flip. Nope. All right, Stephanie, you just got to win final immunity, and you can make it to the end and possibly win this. Yes. Okay, immunity. Final immunity goes to... It goes to Sue! All right, so it's going to be Stephanie because Sue and... Sue and Kelly are a pair. Yeah. Well, not like a pair pair. Well, actually, yes, a pair. They're they're not in a like an alliance, but they've been playing the game pretty much together and they're uh tied to each other. And you know, Rob and Sue have the only like official alliance. Mm -hmm. So Boston Rob is completely worn out, but is not giving up. Why would you we're not doing any silkos here? We're not giving up right at the end. <laughs> Okay. Um. Yeah. It's uh, looking like it's Stephanie. First vote goes to Kelly. Second vote goes to Kelly. Third vote goes to Stephanie, and Kelly Wigglesworth has been voted out. Could it actually happen? <laughs> Could it actually happen? Well, let's not get ahead of ourselves. We so we got we got Sue, uh, you know, in Borneo, was constantly uh, you know, she got so upset at Kelly for wanting to flip on the alliance near the end of the game, and then here comes Sue in our brand steel end of the game flipping on her alliance with her. <laughs> you know, I feel like. Sue has grown with the times and realizes that's just what you do. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I I I have to root for, but I have to root for Stephanie here because like this is the furthest she's ever made it. She's done all right enough where it could potentially merit a win. Uh I feel like if it wasn't for Sue's meltdown, I, I still think. Sue has a pretty good case right now to win. I think Rob also has a good case. I, I'd say it's Sue, Stephanie, and Rob. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, like Sue, there could be some things with maybe jury management where it doesn't work out in her favor. Yeah. But we'll see. Yeah, I, I think I think Stephanie could have some problems here at Final Tribal. Um, I think Boston Rob even though it hasn't been a flashy game, I think he's been on the right side of the vote every time. He has been in the dominant alliance that's basically controlled the game. Um, and unlike Sue, he hasn't had a freak out at the end of the game. He's been calm, cool, collected. People have been appreciating him. They've been liking him at the end here. Um, so I could see um, him feel like more of the complete package where Stephanie has got parts of, of the game and Stu's got some of the other parts of the game, Rob kind of feels like he's both of, of what they're each trying to go for. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. I'm nervous. First vote goes to Sue. Second vote goes to Stephanie. Third vote goes to Boston Rob. Fourth vote goes to Stephanie. What? Fifth vote goes to Boston Rob. Sixth vote goes to Boston Rob. Stephanie Cole. Seventh right. vote and winner is Boston Rob. All right. Stephanie made it second place. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm happy with that. Yeah, yeah. She she did get more votes than Sue, at least. Um uh, but Boston Rob finally getting a win here on our channel. Yeah. Okay. kudos kudos you called it you called it yeah yeah i, I told you like they, they they kept you know being like you know he's impressing the rest of the team you know he was on the right side all the time it, it's it was there it's just he wasn't he wasn't as front and center as we're used to i think seeing boston rob <laughs>
Um, so Amanda and Bobby John voted Stephanie, and uh, Shan voted Sue, and everyone else voted Boston Rob. All right. Okay. Chaos Cass wins the fan favorite award. Good for her. They really liked the person voted out episode two. I know, right? <laughs> All right. Well, I'd say this has been a really fun season. Uh, yeah. It was a, a chaotic season. <laughs> yeah. Just look at Spencer's. Th- he has like five. He has like five different like phases of the game for himself. Yeah. Yeah, he, he went through a lot to just get a fifth place. Like, it, it took all of that to get, get him to fifth place. Yeah. Man. Um, but yeah, I'd say it was pretty solid. And we have quite a few contenders for our um, All-Star 16. So, guys. 15. 15? Yep. Oh, yeah. Uh, so, everyone at home, please uh, vote. Because, um, you know, it's coming up. It is coming next week, our uh, All-Stars 15, and yes. it's going to be a good one. Um, this has been the season for the su- subscribers. Um, so, yeah, it's going to be an epic finale, and I'm excited. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, uh, three days from the upload of this video, all the polls are going to close. So you you can currently go ahead and vote for all the previous uh, episodes that you uh, that you want to. Um, all those will count at least for the next three days. Uh, the community posts as well. Go to our community tab. Uh, vote for who you think is the MVP. Um, because yeah, the the more votes, um, the more likelihood of uh, people from that season that you really liked uh, making a return. So uh, so yeah, definitely uh, make sure to to vote if you haven't already. Yeah, um, let's look at these stats. Yeah. Okay, so challenge wins. Kelly and Sue, the Borneo peeps, with the most challenge wins. <laughs> Stephanie was most strategic. Yeah, followed by Boston Rob, followed by Shan. And then Courtney with zero votes. That still is so... That's 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 hard to look at and to know what happens. If you yeah. guys want to exercise your... <laughs> yeah, vote for Courtney. Courtney Yates. <laughs> oh, we're going to get um, the Courtney and Tyson people. I mean, I, I'd say... Unfortunately for Courtney, and I mean, there were so many good performances here. We're not even talking like with the finalists, even. You know, I'd say Amanda played a pretty strong game. Bobby John had a pretty good outing as well. We had Danielle, who, you know, for all intents and purposes, have, you know, she has a respectable game this time around. Mm -hmm. Um, You know, so I, I do see quite a few people possibly making it in here and like some really good uh arguments for it Mm -hmm. yeah i think i think we're going to definitely see probably a boston rob and a stephanie legro side you think that they're very likely assuming people are are, uh, looking for for them um but uh yeah what uh uh yeah shan had 22 votes against her the most uh, on the season all right and Spencer um, with his two idols. Can we see if there is the uh the relationships or uh yeah let me see let me go back here relationships um, oh oh here's the oh oh, the, oh we're only seeing Amanda's right now so hers she has an unbreakable relationship unbreakable. With oh we would have to see all of them, right? Yeah, we'd have to go through each of them. That sounds like a lot. <laughs> yeah. Um, I okay. mean, yeah. Yeah. But yeah, um, um, this was yeah. a lot of fun. I hope yeah, everyone at home enjoyed. I think it was a really strong episode. So uh, yeah, um, like we said, please vote and uh, get ready for uh, the final month, the February um before survivor 44 um yeah yeah exactly so uh we will see you guys next week for all stars 15 and um yeah we'll be heading into um the next uh next set of branch deals and our survivor 44 coverage as well all right peace out
Adios.